Hello YouTube, I know there are already many videos showing how to stop the anti-malware defender from working, from running on your computer. Well, what those videos don't tell you, they change the registry and they do other tricks, is they don't tell you that if you are running Windows 10 Home Edition, you can find this going to right click on the small uh, icon here, just right click and go on system. Click on system and you'll find what version of Windows. If you have Windows 10 Home, like I do, that registry key will be erased after a few days automatically, even if you don't reboot your computer. Here's the truth that those videos never say and you see the comments are always, always raving in those videos and some, at some point someone is saying, yeah, but uh, that fix is gone, is no longer working. That's the truth. For Windows 10 home owners, there is no way to completely disable the Defender if you want the anti-malware, it's just another name for it. There is no way to stop it from running on your computer, period, as of mid-2022. Windows had put, a, had put explicitly sites that says they will do everything to prevent you doing any kind of thing. However, look. It's a sunny day, so there must be a good news somewhere up there. There is actually a way not to stop the anti-malware, but what I call to put it at idle. And if you look on my screen here, at the right side of the screen, I have the window security window. That's with the window with the settings. And this is the setting for real-time protection. This is the Defender running, the Defender product. So you do have a switch for it and you notice how I keep it. I keep it right here by the side like this just to see this toggle all time. Why? Because I'm honest with you. I'm not doing fancy videos showing I got you a fix that's going to work for four days. What happens is you do have a toggle here to turn the defender not off but actually to put it at idle but Windows it's very sneaky. You know Bill Gates, he is very sneaky too. So what happens is after a few days, maybe after a week, even if you don't reboot, this toggle will turn by itself to on back again. It will look blue again. So here's my trick and I think it's the only, only, only thing that you can do if you are honest. Put this window here on the side of the screen. I'll show you how to access in a moment. Have this toggle visual at all time. And when you see it turning blue, click on it to turn it back to off again. You are going to do this every maybe few days, maybe every other week, but you will keep doing this and it's really easy because it's in your view. You see when it's blue, you turn it off. Now, when it's turned on, if you look here, if you have the task manager, if you look at the anti-malware executable, you look at the amount, uh, amount of RAM it's using, you will see something like 200, 220 or so, depends on your computer. After you switch it off, you will notice it drops to maybe 150, 60, 70. Be patient. After one or two hours, it depends on your computer usage, it's going to keep dropping and from my what I've seen on my computer, it stays between 10 megabytes and 100 megabytes. It will vary, but it stays in between these numbers. Then it, so it, at some point, obviously, it's going to turn blue again. You switch it back again. After a while, it will drop back again, the RAM here again, between maybe 10, 100 megabytes. This has the Defender idling. It's not running and your browser should not have any delay. So you should not experience any delay on your computer. So that's my tip. Keep this window open all time. When you see it blue, turn it, click back again to off. The Defender will drop again and you will have peace of mind for a couple of days or maybe a week or two or so. If you want to see how to access Windows security, just go here on the left side, right click on the mouse, I think you go to settings and you search Windows security and you click on Windows security settings. It's going to pop this window. 
you should be on the Windows Security tab and you can go someplace virus threat protection click on this thing actually it brings me to this uh, uh, window which is already open and you are going to scroll a little bit here so you see that's the page virus and threat protection but you need to scroll down to virus threat protection settings and click manage settings and that's where you have this real-time protection thing and the toggle of the defender to put it at idle all right thanks for watching